To write the formula for barium acetate, let's first write the element symbol for barium. That's Ba, and then the acetate. You won't find the acetate on the periodic table. When we see things that end in ATE, that tells us that this is going to be a polyatomic ion. And you've either memorized the acetate ion, the formula for the acetate ion, or you can look it up. Let's look it up here. So the acetate ion right here, there's two ways you can write it. You can write it CH3COO minus, or you can do the C2H3O2 minus. Either way is correct. It's the same thing. Let's use this one right here. I think it's a little clearer. So we know that the acetate ion is at CH3COO minus. So we write the acetate ion. And now we need to look up the charge for barium. On the periodic table, if we look up barium, barium is right here. It's in group two on the periodic table. So it'll have a two plus ionic charge. So let's write that in two plus. So because barium acetate is neutral, it doesn't have the word ion after it, these charges, this two plus and then this one minus, they need to balance. So we can put parentheses around the acetate ion and then we could put a two here. 2 times 1 minus, that's 2 minus. That'll balance out the 2 plus. The net charge will be 0. So this is the formula for barium acetate. Let's remove these symbols here. And this is the formula. Note that sometimes you'll see the barium here after the acetate ion. That has to do with the fact that the acetate ion here, this acetate ion, comes from acetic acid. And acetic acid loses this hydrogen when it bonds. So the barium essentially has replaced the hydrogen here. So this is another way you could write the formula for barium acetate. Either way is acceptable. This is Dr. B with the formula for barium acetate. Thanks for watching.